Australia is a big country with a lot of big, wide open spaces. So it kind of makes sense when you think about it that at some point we had some really, really big animals. No, I'm not talking about dinosaurs that died out 65 million or so years ago. I'm talking about 450 kilogram kangaroos, seven metre long lizards and wombats the size of trucks just roaming around the countryside alongside human beings. These big old creatures were known as megafauna. You know, mega being big and fauna being animals. Makes sense, really. Here in Alice Springs in the Northern Territory, visitors have been flocking to this museum to see local megafauna. Well, what's left of them? Australia's megafauna are sadly history now. Well, maybe not so sad for these happy little homo sapiens who would have made a tasty snack for, say, this big guy. He's Baru, and he's basically an ancient super croc. He would have hung out near here around 8 million years ago. It was a monster of a crocodile, about as big as the biggest modern saltwater crocodiles, but heavier, stronger, more muscular. It had um, big, long, sharp claws, unlike a modern crocodile, and much bigger teeth than a modern saltwater crocodile. Ah, so friendly then. All of the museum's fossils were found just out of Alice Springs in a place called Alcuta. It's one of the best fossil sites in Australia. The bones of 30 different species and 3,000 individual animals have been uncovered here, including, yep, you guessed it, lots of megafauna. Paleontologists say back in the day there would have been a watering hole in Alcuta that would have attracted not just Baru, but probably a few of these. Giant wombats, also known as diprotodons, the largest mammal ever to live in Australia. These characters would have also been wandering around. They're called Dromornis stertoni, the biggest birds ever known to have roamed the planet and apparently Baru's favourite food. So we know quite a lot about megafauna, but there's still one big question. What wiped them all out? Well, there's a lot of debate about that. Some experts reckon it was the natural result of changes in the climate. Others think it might have been the arrival of humans hunting them into extinction. At least this display isn't going anywhere anytime soon. So visitors, big and small, can have the chance to learn about our magnificent megafauna and imagine what it would have been like to live in a world where they still walked among us. Um, pretty scary. Eight million years ago, if I saw one of those crocodiles, I think I would probably be freaked out so much that I die.